So and welcome to another video and today we're going to be tearing down the G-Wolf skull to see how it's all built, see what switches they've got on the sides and for the scroll wheel and just generally get a good look inside of this mouse to see how well it's built. Now after this video if you also want to see a weight reduction to see if we can get any additional weight off this mouse, it comes in about 66 grams, let me know by hitting the like button and putting it in the comments or you can vote on my Beardy Bob website for that. So the next weight reduction videos to come out will be the G305 followed by the G502 that you guys and girls have all voted for. And if you haven't already, check out my G Pro Wireless here that we did it on. There's a stage two mod coming on the G Pro Wireless, and that's coming very shortly. After a lot of people telling me to get a Dremel, I've got a Dremel, so we can definitely modify the G Pro Wireless a little bit further and a little bit tidier. So we're going to use the usual tools. We've got scales, we've got a hairdryer, we've got a caliper here to measure the size of the feet. That's pretty much all the tools you're going to need to take apart this mouse. So let's see what's inside.
So we've enjoyed this video. We've took it apart. It's a fairly easy mouse to take apart here. I'm not sure how much weight we're going to get out of it looking at what's inside it, but you never know. We might get some reduction, especially by taking off some of the parts that we don't need. What I'm going to start doing on my website is rating how easy these are to take apart from one to five. And what it'll allow you to do is if you want to power cord some of these mice, you'll be able to do that and you'll understand how complicated it is to swap the cable because some are more difficult than others. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.